skirt the boat dock. Out here in a 20 or 18 foot Duckworth Advantage, white. Uh, beautiful boat, got a USB ports over there, 12 volt power point right here. Uh, your, everything did work back at the shop except for the wash down had no power going to it. It had a, the fuse block looks okay, but maybe that's just my eyes. But then when I got out here, none of these switches work, none of the panel switches or the fuel gauge or the depth finder comes on. So that's either that bad main fuse back there or there's a short somewhere. And also they didn't hook up the speedo tube, so it's just hanging there. They need to pinch it off or when you get going, it's gonna get water all over your leg. So they need to get that fixed. Keys are in the glove box. So a 13 by 17 pitch prop is perfect for this boat. It does about 37, 38 constant uh, up to 42, uh, 41, 42, depending on current. It is an incoming, about three miles an hour. The 99 did about five, five to eight. So you're looking about three mile an hour current. Like I say, it is incoming, 11 by seven pitch prop. That's power tilt on that electric start tiller handle. Uh, no leaks in the boat, very stable. Um, pretty quiet. Uh, quick two seconds of playing two two and a half uh, that's about 18 miles an hour cruising is about 28 miles an hour uh, yeah it will hit a little bit you know when it gets rougher out but what boat don't there's very few that don't so but this boat will take anything this bay dishes out so anyway of course if you hit this right here boom boom nothing you're that's telling me that you're in gear so you bring it back she'll fire right up okay so now if you got it fired up you pull that boom motor dies that's the safety lantern so now when you go you hear that beep that's the first sign that that safety lanyard and it won't start is the safety lanyard ain't in okay so this did work but now it ain't so they got to look at that and then there's the one of the cables on the front of this for the trailer the safety cable's missing and the bolt needs to be retightened and add a cable and we got a lot of flies today so anyway, we'll give this a whirl. So we're gonna put it in gear. We're gonna turn this thing around. And then if you turn this thing all the way down, like this, and it's a little hard to turn to the left and to the right, just trim it up a little bit at this speed, and it's gonna free that up. See, now I can steer it easy. That's all you have to do. So now once you get going, you can trim it down. Then you can hit it, and it's about two seconds. So I'm gonna straighten it up. 1,001, 1,002, there you go, you're up on top. And then we're going like this. That's about 18 miles an hour. Start trimming. See how it steers good both ways. You can take your hands off, it goes in a straight line. See? You're getting a little spray off of the transducer. Uh, you could put a shield on it. And then you hit it, boom. And I probably would put a shield on it. And it goes really nice. So trim her down. And then again, remember to trim it to where you got steering at low speed see how that steer is nice you just leave it like that kick that back turn that the key off over here then you go back in here and of course you got storage under here storage underneath here and then up into here and that's your fish box that drains straight out the that's that lower uh, hole on the outside of the boat with a through hole that's your drain for the fish box and these are towable tops like i said then you can go back here and all you have to do is hit this down the trim then bring it back to right here just hit the start button bring it back put it in gear this is your friction make sure that friction's off you don't want that over there because then it's tightening it up and you're trying to turn it with the tie bar this needs to be screwed down Good to the left, good to the right. 
Well, and it turns a lot faster to the right than it does the left. So if you ever make, have to make a tight turn, always go to the right hand side. It'll do it good to the left. But what you're doing is you're trying to push that motor, that motor, that boat that way. This way you're just pulling it over. So then you bring that back in here, hit the stop button, make sure you lift this tiller handle up. So when you turn in, it doesn't hit there and break your handle. So now they just need to fix some of the items they have on the list and they're good to go. And that's why I take these out. Anything can happen just like that. It could be the only thing. You say, why in the heck are my legs getting wet? Or why didn't my build pump or uh, wash down work? So this way we go back and fix it. Make sure she's perfect for you. Boat doctor out. What do you say, Mr. Collins?